hear us you'll have to feel us as many of us wake up to another day of realizations the world pretends to be shocked again in 2020 another black man slaughtered by the police in daylight another one of us gone for us this isn't a time for activism this is a time for us to deep our lives In the middle of a global pandemic which disproportionately affects our lives, we have to take to the streets in frustration and protest to fight for the recognition of our lives. If you talk, if you think about institutions that we have like education and that, yeah. you're being told, you're being taught in history or English, the values of British values. Yeah. But then if we'll, if we'll, I don't know, if they do teach you slavery, or only, the only thing that you show, um, that is shown to you is the way that the white people were superior to us yeah. and we were yeah. inferior. Yeah. So I can't That's really true. explain, I can't really expect, you know, people to come and change their mind immediately if they've been thinking this way or they have a philosophy yeah. in their mind for so long in their yeah. life. Yeah. However now, it's, as like I said, it's a personal decision. So if you yeah. really want to go change that, go change that. Right. People say, okay, this is just for George Floyd. Yes, it partially is for George mm -hmm. Floyd, but this is bigger than George Floyd. Mm. This is for our race, mm. right? Mm -hmm. we've, we've gone through years of suffering, mm. of suffering for our rights to walk down the street and mm. not be racially profiled, mm -hmm. not be stopped and searched, mm -hmm. not be killed, not be, lent, not, mm. be, not be knelt on until we can't breathe anymore. Mm. Mm. We have, we're fighting for for bigger positions in companies that are racist. They don't mm. want to see a black man in power. Yep. We, they don't, they don't even want to see a black woman in power. Really? You see all these like injustices, like look at you know Oxford University, the amount of white students that get accepted when there's so many black students that are more academic, just 100%. better, and they're still not getting accepted. And I think, you know, being mixed race, I think it is an issue. Yeah, you do experience it with your friends, and then I've experienced like some racial slurs at me as well. So I yeah. think that's why I care about it so much. Yeah. Like, obviously, it's different. I just, I just love it, and this is my second protest, so mm. it just shows. Maybe I haven't really been a lot vocal on social media and stuff, yeah, but I'm yeah, vocal yeah, yeah. when it comes to stuff like this. I'll, me, when I have to speak me. out, I'll speak out. When I have yeah. to say say something, I'll say something. It's time to tell our allies of the Black Lives Matter cause to take their mouth where it matters, into their communities, their friends, their families, their workplaces. Start having these uncomfortable conversations about race. Educate, listen, learn, and figure out how to change and dismantle racism. Now is not the time to be silent. We need everybody to be either with us or stand against us. My experience is slightly varied. I mean, on the whole, it's been incredibly positive. Um, at the beginning, there was... At the beginning, there was a few issues due to in my eyes the way that the police conducted themselves i understand that there's certain um protocol when it comes to group gatherings that could potentially be harmful but i do think that there's certain intimidation tactics that should be avoided and i've also seen police conduct themselves in ways that are incredibly unnecessary. So at the beginning of all this, we all need to remember that these protests were fueled a lot by anger. Over time, things have calmed down because we've started to see some justice along the way. But at the beginning, you know, there, it was very heated and rightly so. Um, I feel like the Black Lives Matter protest was 
perfect if, if, in, if I'm being honest. I feel like it went really well. I feel like the marches were were done borderline perfectly, and it sent across the message that needs to be sent across. So I think that's that's what was the best best thing about it. Yeah. Honestly, please just seek knowledge. Please, from now on, understand what it is. And honestly, if you do have white priv privilege, I get the whole white privilege thing, but please just use it against us. Understand where we come from. Understand where the pain is coming from as well. If we're shouting and we're screaming and we're coming with violence, it's not really, it's not anger towards you. It's just what's happened to us. You know what I'm saying it's all the anger that's built and we've broken, yeah, we've cracked. I'm just it's hoping true. that please, you seek knowledge and you really understand what this is about. We're not just doing it just to do it, literally. Yeah. There's been some protests that I've gone to where I've seen a lot of performative activism which as a performer myself i disagree with um there's certain ways that you can perform within the realms of activism that is selfless and that is poignant and that can really be identified as a means to an end to answer that i just i think it's kind of weird Go into something that's so life changing and so important with the wrong mindset. Like for example, like I've, I've seen on Instagram quite a bit that there's some people, like influencers, some of them, not all of them, but they'll go take a picture and then leave Im immediately. To me, that doesn't make sense because it's always for a bigger cause. Like you need to understand that not everything is social media orientated. That's why, for example, I, when I went there, I didn't post anything on my socials just because I just don't, I don't feel like social media needs to know that I'm there. My presence is 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 what what is needed and our voice is what needs to be heard, not posting one picture on Instagram and thinking you've had an impact. Facing off against riot police, setting cars on fire and blocking roads. Protesters in Atlanta gather close to where Rayshard Brooks died on Friday night. Police officers were injured in the violence outside Downing Street on Saturday, including a mounted officer thrown from her horse as it collided with a traffic light. Crowds gathered across the United States over the weekend for more protests in the wake of George Floyd's killing in police custody two weeks ago. Also, it's been mad for me and just... Honestly, it enrages me how the British media have responded to this, the way they're still asking, is Britain still institutionally racist? Um, is Britain a racist country? Da, 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 da. People having these debates, it's like, like, people have, like Grenfell. The fact that Grenfell was allowed to happen in this country, in the borough that it happened in, in the place that it happened in, in 2017 is a disgrace. And that is institutional racism. I think one one thing I have learned as myself over this time is education is the best form of every of anything of learning of developing knowledge of just understanding. So educate yourself, man. Understand that, for example, our well people before us, like even before George Floyd, a lot of people don't really know about Rodney King, like. There are things that have happened before that, but it, like the Rodney King thing is borderline, pro probably the same or even worse than what's happened with George Floyd. But obviously George Floyd has the social media backing as well and so on and so forth. So like, yeah, educate, educate yourself and understand that it's not, it's not just this little, ah, uh, someone saying the N word once or someone get, oh, 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 I don't know, man, just... It's, it's just so much bigger. I really urge everyone in this community, whether you be lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, intersex, you know, cisgendered, heterosexual, whatever you are, connect with someone else who is different to you. Speak to someone else that's different to you. Listen to their trials and their tribulations. Understand that they are going through something that, the same on the same level or even or even even more so than you try to understand before you shout out things that are just incorrect in my opinion i just think education is the is the best form of understanding many people who once ignored our struggles and pleas are waking up today no longer able to ignore their privilege 
waking up to their whiteness and how it affects the global plight of black people. Many are listening, many are reading, many are engaging, many are pausing, but still many are ignoring. I just think, first of all, we need to look at the bigger picture here. You know, um, we're dealing with human beings and we're dealing with people. People are very complex characters. And, you know, you can try and throw the blame at someone and you can try and make someone out to be something they're not, or you can try and judge someone due to your prejudice or your preconceptual ideas of their stereotype. But as I said before, people are very complex characters. So we need to take into account that there's going to be people that are going to go there and cause negatives. Mm. Ne negative, sorry. You know, there's pros and there's cons to every situation. So you will get people that are going to go there thinking, maybe due to lack of education, maybe just due to ulterior motives, that they just want to start a fight or they want to get out whatever anger they want to get out. Mm. And, you know, there may be people that go there that just want to show up because they feel guilty. As a black man myself, I've been through a lot of things that I don't I don't ever say to the public, I'll never bring out to the public, but like it is the BLM movement is much bigger than what, what we see day to day than the average the random person shouting a, a racial slur at you. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than going to a protest and thinking about oh I wanna get my social service, my social platform to a better place or to a bigger place, so I'm gonna post on socials. It's bigger than that. So I just don't, I, me personally, I can't agree with that per se. Really apply the information that you've learned and listen and amplify black voices when they're talking about the experiences. So yeah.